What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Juggle972 back here, and welcome back. Well, I should be saying welcome to Jug Ask Juggle972 Part 7. Now, I told y'all that this was going to be just a little bit different, but I wanted this one to be a little bit more special, and I had some of y'all, not just sending questions, though, but, you know, send in, you know, video uh, responses uh, for your questions as well, and I got it, and um, I think some people, you know, weren't, you know, really sure how this was going to go, but hopefully, you know, the uh, today's uh, Ask Juggle972 Part 7 uh, will uh, hopefully, you know, answer some of those questions, so without, without further ado, let's get right into it. Okay, let's see. The first one comes from a boy in Australia, Ape TV, and he asks actually a series of questions. So, what do you got? So, uh, I don't think it's necessary really for Juggalos to be hating, you know, we be trifling, you know what I'm saying, with each other, but in the end we start the hugging again, and then we start the The worst thing I've ever seen a Juggalo or a Jugglet do to somebody, probably fight against each other. You know, because we shouldn't be fighting with each other. Best wrestling federation right now, hands down, it's a tie between New Japan Pro Wrestling and Ring of Honor because they're working, um, they're, uh, the way they're working together right now um, it has to be probably one of the best things um, that's going on with the business. and. The reason why I say that though is because NXT, I mean, don't get me wrong, I love NXT as much as I love you know WWE though, but right now, New Japan, Ring of Honor, and NXT are the best things in the business right now. Um, anything else, sure maybe CZW because that last, that last video came from CZW, but if you really, really, really want extreme, check out Big Japan Pro Wrestling. They've got two styles, Deathmatch style and Strong style. Um, Let's see, aside from CZW and Big Japan, NXT, Ring of Honor, New Japan Pro Wrestling, um, Chikara Pro, yes, Chikara. <laughs> Best 90s sitcom, The Simpsons. Best Magic Ninja Entertainment Group or Artists? Um, I don't know, man, because they're all good. They're all really good. I don't think there's... I don't think there's no artist or group on Magic Ninja Entertainment that I don't like. So, um... I know that they'll sound like a disappointing answer, but... I, I love them all. What can I say? I'm gonna have to say the Jackass Crew, hands down. <laughs> I really don't know anybody else that, or maybe the Dudesons. I, I I really don't. But honestly, you know, the, the first thing that comes to mind is just the Jackass Crew, though. Lunchbox Twelve Thousand asks. Where do I go to unwind? Um, I like to go to the arcade. Uh, just play some Tekken 7, you know, kick people's asses left and right there. Um, uh, I like to go to the bar, you know, with a couple of friends, you know, and uh, just pound out some whiskey and Coke, some whatnot, some Jack or some Crown. Um, if I need to let loose, sometimes what I'll do, um, if I need some time alone, what I'll do is I'll just uh, come to my room, just kind of close the door, just put on some music and... Um, break out a break out a glass with uh, some ice in it though, and I'll just put some scotch in there. Sit there and drink about three fingers of scotch. Oh, and my uh, choice of scotch is a uh, Johnny Walker Black Bold. Do I find elevators unnerving? Not really. Matter of fact, I kind of get some butterflies whenever I go up uh, some elevators. Kind of an adrenaline junkie too, so and I have a small fear of heights, but at the same time, I love just going up in the air. I don't know what it is though, but just I get a, a bit of a, a rush. So exciting. Best 
Has Vertigo ever affected me? Yes. Twice. Uh, let's see. November of 2012, I got diagnosed with Vertigo because I wasn't sleeping very well. And I remember sitting down and just kind of just getting this room, uh, this room spinning feeling. And the second time I got out, that was about a year and a half afterwards. Uh, all I remember about that, though, was like I was working in the middle of a match, and all of a sudden, um, matter of fact, it was right before I was getting ready to work a tag team match because I'm a tag team specialist. Um, all I remember about that uh, that particular night, though, was I got in, I took a few bumps, and then what was supposed to feel normal didn't feel normal. When I got back up, though, it felt like a, just an endorphin rush, but for some reason, the endorphin rush just wouldn't stop. I tried getting behind the wheel, and I just said, you know what, this, I, felt, I felt like I was drunk whenever I did so. I didn't hurt my head or anything. But yeah, I went to the doctor both times, and I've just uh, taken medication. And that medication actually just helped me sleep, that's all it did. So, yeah, I've had vertigo twice, and it's not a fun feeling. I went to Six Flags uh, a couple years ago, and what I did, this is probably illegal, probably illegal, but I was, what, in 7th or 8th grade whenever I did this. I took a, don't ask me why though, but I had a, uh, a 50 cent coin that I flipped upwards, and the wind caught it. And, uh, I'm trying to remember what it was, but it was on top of this red tower. I can never remember the name of it though, but I flipped it upwards, and all I remember seeing was this, this 50 cent coin just go up into the air and get blown further away into the highway. And all I heard was a big click, 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 click. And I turned around. And there was a car accident. Do I prefer stairs? Here's some really uh, interesting questions, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I like running stairs, believe it or not. I like staying in shape. So yes, I love the stairs. But, I also like escalators too. Even on escalators, I run upwards because there's no better feeling than being able to run up the stairs really, 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 really fast. And besides, an escalator can never really break, it can only become stairs too, so... You know, you win some, and you don't lose any. Have I ever pushed every button in the elevator and ran away? Uh, no. I've only gotten away with pushing about a quarter of the buttons on there when I got kicked off. <laughs> I was about 10 years old when I did that. Jtown Juggalo 3317 asks, "How's the life of a professional wrestler? And have you ever been to jo uh, Jolie? Uh, I think I pronounced it Jolie, Illinois, and did a show there." Um, the life of a professional wrestler. Um, in the independents, there's a, a lot of traveling, a lot of gas money that comes from it, um, a lot of flying, also not to mention a lot of sharing, uh, sharing uh, cars, and not to mention uh, just debauchery, a lot of camaraderie, and uh, what can I say, a lot of fun. Sometimes, you know, in this business, you know, you don't make a lot of money. Other times, you know, when you make, you know, the best way to make money, though, is to get yourself over selling gimmicks, and that's when the money, I mean... That's when the money kind of comes in. I mean, once you really learn the hustle of the business, then yeah, you can make a living off of it. Ask guys like uh, Masada, he'll he'll tell you. A lot of us guys, you know, who work though, you know, haven't made haven't made it though. Me personally, though, I don't ever plan on making it to World Wrestling Entertainment or Impact Wrestling. I mean, if you ask me, I'd be happy, you know, retiring, you know, knowing that I can wrestle in New Japan or All Japan Pro Wrestling. Because if you ask me, I think that's where. What I'm looking for. To me, I think that's you know where I would personally like to be. And have ever been to Jolie, uh, Jolie, Illinois? I've been to Chicago, but I've never been to Joliet. I think it's. I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing it, but I've never been to that part of Illinois. Um, I've been to Chicago before on many layovers. Uh, I've been to Chicago, you know, just visiting for a few hours or just passing through. Uh, last time I was there was whenever I left uh, Indiana to go up uh, to go up to Michigan to go do uh, to go take care of a personal matter whenever I was living in Indiana, and 
All I can say about Chicago, Chicago is really nice. Uh, the Midwest is cold, I can tell you that right now. The Midwest is fucking freezing, but the Midwest has its charm. You know, Illinois does, Indiana, Ohio has its charms too, so, yeah. But uh, as far as uh, that part of Illinois, sorry, I haven't. And the Texas Juggler for Life asks, whoop, whoop. Hey Ninja, do you have the Terror Wheel or Tunnel of Love, and so if we upload it? Um, I don't have uh, the Terror Wheel uh, with me right now, but... I just may, to be quite honest, you know, when it comes to uh, digital, uh, uh, these digital remasters I'm, that I'm doing, um, I can tell you this right now though, I'm just mainly doing stuff that I really, really like, but I will take requests. You know, if y'all get together and start, you know, sending requests, I'll definitely, you know, take a look uh, into what I have and I'll take a look into, you know, go, you know, getting them as well because I'll tell you right now, I prefer to take requests instead of just having people just tell me to do so, but, um, the uh, Tunnel of Love, I do have. Terror Will, I don't have. However, I will definitely take that into, uh, as a request. So please, if anybody, uh, I'm telling you right now, um, let me know what you also want remastered and uploaded. And I'll definitely look into it. And uh, that was uh, it for uh, Astro 972 Part 7. Um, I really hope uh, uh, the new feature that I added, you know, for having people send in uh, video clips of uh, them asking questions. You know, whether it be just words or just, you know, them, you know, filming it to ask. Uh, I really hope that this had a, added a new dynamic, though. It's just something that I really wanted to try out with everybody. Um, I do know that, you know, it's not, you know, I don't have everything, you know, just really down to us. I mean, I've got it down to a science, though, but I really, I'm really looking to expand on how to make this a lot more, um, a lot more interactive. Um, I'm considering, um, you know, buying myself an HD webcam. And maybe, just maybe, I'm thinking about going live and actually taking questions for everybody too. Um, I don't know how, I don't know when, uh, when that's going to be or when I'm going to be able to do it. But it's definitely something that I want to, you know, try to do. Maybe, maybe I'll, uh, I'll do it for the 10th edition. Who knows? But uh, thank you all for sending all your questions. I love each, uh, each and every one of y'all. Much love. Be good to each other. Peace and be safe.